The role of the interactive costing tool in supporting a national contract value review. Why the interactive costing tool and national contract value review exist. The NHS operates as a collective of individual legal entities, which means each organisation can determine their own prices for commercial contract research across the four nations of the UK. To provide predictability for commercial contract research and to help attract placement in the UK, a standard costing methodology has been agreed for use across NHS organisations. The UK Interactive Costing Tool defines and applies this standard and transparent costing methodology for commercial contract research on a study-by-study -study basis. The Study Resource Review function within the Interactive Costing Tool enables existing NHS costing experts to work with commercial companies in ensuring the resources allocated for that study are sufficient for any NHS organisation participating in the study. Altogether, this approach minimises adjustments by individual NHS organisations to speed up patient access to research. What are the benefits of the Interactive Costing Tool and its Study Resource Review function? The UK-wide format supports swift site setup. It enables partnership working with and across the health and care system. It's part of the documentation preparations for study approvals. The study resource requirements inform the site-specific prices generated for inclusion in the UK model agreements, available via IRS Help. The tool is one part of wider study planning and placement support provided by each nation to ensure that sponsors can access real-time insight to target the right sites for the right study at the right time. How do I get started? The company representative creates or logs into their central portfolio management system account and selects Study Resource Review Service 20D for their chosen study submission. The interactive costing tool in the Study Resources tab is completed by outlining the study requirements for a research site taking part. There are lots of resources available online to help you use this tool. If you need to speak to someone, the location of the Chief Investigator defines which local clinical research network or devolved administration office support team is relevant for your study. The interactive costing tool is submitted for the study resource review along with the required study documentation to enable this, for example a protocol, so the NHS can understand what the study entails. The local clinical research network or devolved administration office will help identify an NHS costing expert to act as a study resource reviewer relevant to the study and location. The company representative is introduced to the study resource reviewer, enabling direct communication between the company and the NHS. The study resource reviewer is assigned to the study submission within CPMS. They work with the chief investigator and study team to confirm that the activities entered and resources allocated in the interactive costing tool reflect the study activities listed in the study documentation. This may involve liaising with support staff within their NHS organisations and beyond. For example, liaising with central reviewers such as pharmacy or medical imaging. The outcome is the co-created study resource requirements from which all site-specific prices are generated. What happens next? For NHS organisations that have stated adherence to the site-specific prices generated by their interactive costing tool, there should be no renegotiation. NHS organisations in Scotland and Wales operate in a single cost model and Northern Ireland is working to endorse this model. You can find this information in the UK Interactive Costing Tool tariff data on the NIHR website. For others, there may be justifiable reasons why a local cost for an activity is different from the price generated by the ICT and the National Contract Value Review approach is working to ensure these are visible up front. Top tips. Investing time up front to accurately reflect the study requirements within the Interactive Costing Tool submitted for a national review enables prompt agreement and minimises rework. The study resource review is a mechanism to capture and share resource requirements across the NHS as part of study setup. If you are new to the tool, new to working with the NHS, or your study is a complex design, be sure to access our user resources and lead local clinical research network or devolved administration support teams to help you capture study requirements within this tool. To help us work together, please, Attach your protocol and or study schedule of events alongside any other relevant documentation that may assist in understanding the study requirements. Provide up-to-date company representative contact details 
so the reviewer can discuss the study directly. Confirm your chief investigator, because this is how we allocate the local clinical research network or devolved administration office support, and therefore a study resource reviewer with existing relationships with the chief investigator and study team. Submissions without this included will be returned. Get the most from each UK nation's support. Engage with study planning and placement support to help spread research opportunities across the UK and deliver them as efficiently as possible within the current health and care system. The interactive costing tool is designed to integrate information from site identification to easily create site-specific prices for contracting using the UK model agreements. Please note that ICT submission for study resource review is not an application for portfolio eligibility in any UK nation. Further information about the interactive costing tool and study resource review, including guidance, tutorials and updates, can be found on the NIHR website. If you have any queries, please get in contact with your local clinical research network, the Study Support Service Help Desk, or Devolved Administration Office in Northern Ireland, Scotland or Wales.